it has come to my attention that y'all are some wonderful people. Love y'all. The last video I did, the reaction video to a bite, I want to make some corrections. Thanks to a comment from Rob, as well as some other people, mentioning that the bite could have been food response as well. Now I'm going to show the video again to refresh your memory, even though it was just a day ago, and then talk about some other possibilities and show you an example of what I mean by a feeding video I did not even two days ago. So yeah, I'm going to show you again. We'll talk about it, but I want to make a correction slash possibility for food response bite. Subscribe if you're new. Love y'all. So originally I mentioned about the shaking of the tail, rattling of the tail, and how that is defensive behavior, and that luckily the bite was most likely a defensive bite, which means potentially no venom injected. But after Rob mentioned, again, as well as other people, could still be a food response bite. Just because it's acting defensive doesn't mean it can't still bite as food, which I'm going to show you with this video feeding a western diamondback rattlesnake I took two days ago. And, you know, this this is something that just, I guess, didn't cross my mind, how the presence of a person can still cause the snake to be defensive, but still the scent of a mouse or food can still have them resort to biting and food response. And another thing that leads to the potential of a food responsive bite opposed to a defensive bite is the way that the snake held on for, held on a little bit. Look. Now typically defensive bites are going to be bite and release. But even with food responsive bites with terrestrial vipers, so ones that live on the ground, terrestrial, they typically bite and release, but some still do hold on. That being said, this one holding on could lead to the possibility of it being a food response bite. So it's a good call, Rob. So I'm going to show you the video I took of the Western Diamondback. So you see the snake is in defense mode, rattling the posture, everything. Defense mode because I'm there, startled it. When opening the enclosure. Now a snake isn't, this rattlesnake isn't going to rattle like this if it's just prey passing by. It's going to give away its location, it's going to startle the prey, and then they don't get a feed. They'll get no food. So they're not going to rattle for anything other than defense. But watch how it's still in defense mode, but resorts to food response bite while remaining defensive. So still defensive, still a food response bite. The bite release, that's typically, like I said, what terrestrial vipers will do. Not all of them do. There's a western diamond back at my work that holds on every time. Different individuals, different behaviors. But, yeah, I just wanted to make this correction, this video, just to put it out there. I just woke up, so hopefully it came across okay. Thank you, Rob, and everyone else who left comments. Um, but yeah, I'll be back soon with another one. Love you all. Subscribe if you're new. But yeah, could have been food response, could have been defensive bite. It'd be better if it was defensive bite. Like I said on the last video, food response bite, almost guaranteed that's going to be venom injected. Love y'all.